Assalamu alaikum students. Uh, we have been discussing, I believe, about culture. Huh? Is that true? And lastly, what we have studied about that culture, we have said, we started with the question, what kind of culture did they possess? And we, in that lecture, said that we do not have a contribution made only in the religious architecture, or rather, we have a significant contribution in, uh, in secular architecture as well. This can be a question you can be asked you know, to elucidate on this fact. Then, coming to the second part, we, I gave a different idea of your secular culture and we did not discuss religious architecture there. Today, we'll be strictly dealing with religious architecture. And one more thing that crossed in my mind, that crossed my mind, is that when, is there two, there are two prospects, perspectives, rather, where question can be asked if they want to test your uh, knowledge and understanding of architecture in length and breadth, they can ask you a question uh, regarding their uh, distinct dis regarding the distinct nature of Vijayanagar kingdom or uniqueness and their functions as well. They can pose that question in a different manner. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> they can pose that question in a different manner, but this can be asked. I am I have been always telling you one thing uh, that questions in this culture they are a decider because many of uh, aspirants struggle are there in that part especially in cultural part because the nature of the syllabus of UPSC is so extensive so vast huh so you don't you want to ignore those topics uh, not ignore you don't want to focus really on those topics uh, which where you cannot develop an expertise and culture is one such topic where you cannot develop an expertise because you often tend to forget the things about the culture about the architectural pattern about different art forms as well so is the case with literature that's why we when I told you that we'll be studying in a different perspective, we'll be studying like we have been writing well, like we are writing an answer in, for our mains examination. We'll try to cover those extensions which can be asked and we this can balance our preparation. Huh? We have to take everything should be cognizant, we should be cognizant of everything. Uh, that we should be cognizant of simplicity in the question, we should be cognizant of complexity of the question. Huh? We do not have to belittle our preparation, rather we have to keep upkeep our confidence and believe in ourselves that we, are, we will be able to tackle such kind of questions. With that spirit, let's move on. Finally, I don't write empire and focus has been now shifted my focus from empire to kingdom at last. Huh? Will be in religious architecture, my focus would be on two things. One would be temple architecture, other would be sculpture. Associated with that temple architecture or in a, in, or in a distinct pattern or dis, uh, or in a separate realm we'll be studying about that structure
students have been asked that I should write, uh, I should increase the font of my writing on board. So I will try from today. Is this okay? Please, I may miswrite. I may not write the correct spelling. Please do not focus on that part. And correct me if you notice it, if you can find it. Huh? S C U L P. S C U L P. S C U L. Sukulapsu. L U P. S U L P. Yes. No, I often just likte likte mai bhool jata hu. ठीक है, what you please try to find it. Tablon. Have so far you have read most of the things about Vijayanagar Kingdom. I I believe that you may have done uh, certain reading in your home as well. Can you new name some uh, temples that belong to Vijayanagar Kingdom? You must have. I told you please go through Hampi. And try to gain some knowledge about Hampi. After all, Hampi is was the ruins after 18th century, and it was only in the late 18th. It was in the, only in the 18th century that we got to know about uh, this Hampi. And since then, archaeology archaeologists have made certain advancements in learning about this Hampi. I'm sure you must have gone through Hampi. Please give me some examples that would. Uh, but that would uh, at least allow me to think that you have been reading about Dhampi in your home. Please give me some examples of temple architecture, these temples that belong to. Maybe another. Think. I cannot think any names right now. Huh? I cannot recollect any names. Okay. First thing and foremost thing we'll focus on features. What were the features of the temple architecture? Then we'll go to some other part. Think. Before I write features, I want you to write few lines about Vichinagar temple architecture. It can be asked a question directly. These lines are a question itself. Think? And these lines can be your introduction to our answer as well. Please write it down. The temple architecture attained its fullness and freedom of expression Under Vijayanagar Kingdom, huh? Vijayanagar Kingdom, I will write this short VK. Now you know it. What is VK? It is Vijayanagar Kingdom. So I have saved time. time. Think. This new style. Dash karke. Provida style. This is your preliminary question. This question is framed that you will have the main answer and you will have the main answer and you will have the preliminary points. Okay? 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 Was Harmonious blend
Hindu and Islamic architecture. See how many things are getting clear from this statement. How was harmonial blend of Islamic and and the architecture with features of convergence of Nagara and Dravida forms. Who oh, means you have a lot of information stored in this question only. With features of convergence. Nagara and Bravida form. अगर इतना क्वेश्चन होगा तो ये डेफिनेटली पंद्रह पंद्रह मार्क्स का क्वेश्चन है बिकॉज इसमें वॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन आपको शेयर करनी है अगर ये पंद्रह मार्क्स वाला क्वेश्चन ऐसा होगा इफ इट देन यू हैव टू फर्स्ट थिंग डिस्कस अबाउट द फीचर्स ऑफ दिस स्टार प्रोविड स्टार ठीक देन यू हैव टू Point out this harmonious blend of Hindu and Islamic architecture. What were the common points of convergence of Hindu and Islamic architecture that we have already discussed regarding the dome, regarding that arc? We have already discussed in that structure. We have this is not yet to be discussed. This has been already discussed, and we have pointed out this was there, present there, even in secular architecture as well. Now, then we have to highlight these features of convergence of Dravid and. Nagara form as well. Not only of Dravid and Nagara, rather we have a blend. We have uh, some examples where we can say that it was not a distinctive art. It was not a completely uh, uh, the style was not was not a unique to Vijayanagar Kingdom. Rather, modifications were done to the earlier indigenous art form. It is believed. It is being believed that if, uh, this uh, Krishna Devaraya, huh? विरूपक खासकर विरूपक्ष टेंपल के बारे में ऐसा कहा जाता है कि वो बहुत पुराने पुरा, पुराना टेंपल है पहले से ही बनाया गया दे यूज टू इनहानस और ऑर्ग्यूमेंट और इंक्रीज द एक्सपेंस ऑफ दिस दे यूज टू टर्न दिस टेंपल्स इनटू सुपर स्ट्रक्चर्स वेरी लार्ज बिल्डिंग्स तो मींस ऑलरेडी से ये चीजें उनके जो ये ये मॉडिफिकेशन कर रहे थे कौन विजयनगर के तो हमें वो वहां से वो क्वेश्चन वी कैन लेटर सिंस इट्स क्वेश्चन विच विच हैज लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन इट्स लेट्स हैव अ फोकस लेट्स ट्राई टू कन्वर्स आवर फोकस ऑन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एंड ट्राई टू लर्न अबाउट द टेंपल आर्किटेक्चर एंड ट्राई टू लर्न अबाउट द थिंग्स ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस एंड फंक्शन ऑफ टेम्पल आर्किटेक्चर एंड देन विल बी डन विद टेम्पल आर्किटेक्चर ठीक शुरू हुई ये आपने ये स्टेटमेंट लिखी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट इफ अगर क्वेश्चन ऐसे ही दिया भी नहीं है मगर आप इंट्रोडक्शन इसी स्टेटमेंट से करेंगे ठीक है उसे उससे वेलवेटर को समझ आएगा कि इसको पता सारा है इसके बारे में फीचर्स को मैं जल्दी जल्दी खत्म करने की कोशिश करूँगा क्योंकि उसमें से आपने बहुत ज़्यादा पढ़े यू नो अबाउट घर वगैरह यू नो अबाउट मंडलम हाँ मंडापा यू नो एवरी थिंग अबाउट दिस फर्स्ट फीचर 
superstructures. Means temples were not small buildings, rather, they were very elaborate and complex architectures huh? with a huge compound wall. Got it? Should I elaborate it? No, you can't elaborate it. Temples, superstructure means temples were not a narrow or a simple building, rather, it was an elaborate, complex building with a huge compound wall, with a huge expanse. Huh? You have, you can, now because you have read uh, general features of temples already, now you should be able to uh, remember them in perspective of Vijayanagar Kingdom. Take. Second would be, what about the sanctum? Take. You know, sanctum may already garba gira. Present hota tha. What do you mean by garba gira? Where we used to place main deity. Image of main deity. Along with Garba Gira, please remember this point. There was a new structure known as Aman Shrine. What? Garba Gira plus Aman Shrine. Aman Shrine. Shrine means? Aman. Yes. Shrine. Thick. और ये अमान श्राइन क्या थी यहां डेटी की जो सुपाउस की इमेज रखी जाती थी हाँ What about Mandapa? Mandapa usually kya hota tha? Pillared, pavilion or hall. Huh? Okay? Ye raised platform hoa karta tha. Huh? With a column integer, a new structure we find or equation of UPC primary Puchangya. Kalyan Mandapa is a feature of which temple architecture? Vijayanagar Kingdom. Mandapa ko pata hai. Yaha, main eki chi describe karo a new Mandapa to hai column under. Yaha kya paya jada tha? Kalyan Mandapa. Mandapa to thai. Magar yaha ek or Mandapa ki definition mujhe dehni nahi hai. Because we have already discussed that. Isn't it? Huh? To what I'll focus here is another part of that Mandapa. Kalyan Mandapa. Where do we find Kalyan Mandapa? We find this example of Kalyan Mandapa in the architecture of Vijayanagar. Temple architecture of Vijayanagar. Kalyan Mandapa. Now you can understand from the word itself what can be ye kis liye use hota hoga? What can be used? Kalyan. Here, marriage where here union of God and spouse was done on special occasions. Thik? Kalyan, Shadi, Kalyan, 
एक्चुअली सो आप तो हिंदी फिल्में देखते हैं ठीक नाउ विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट गोपुरा यू नो वट आर गोपुरा वट आर गोपुर गेटवेज जहां गोपुरम बड़ा गोपुरम हुआ करता था ठीक है और इस बड़े गोपुरम को क्या बोलते थे राया गोपुरम क्या बोलते थे राया गोपुरम याद रखना ये प्लीज आपके प्रिमिनरी के लिए भी इंपॉर्टेंट है और मेंस के लिए भी इंपॉर्टेंट है राया गोपुरम थोड़ा डिस्टर्ब करेंगे ठीक है सेवरल स्टोरी पिरामेडिकल पिरामेडिकल गेटवेज और जी ज्यादातर ये राया गोपुरम किसके वक्त ऐड किए गए थे कृष्णा देव और राया के वक्त ठीक एंड लाइक चोलाज चोला ड्राइविड आर्किटेक्चर में भी गेटवेज पाए जाते थे गोपुरम और चोलाज के वक्त वहां बॉडी गार्ड की फिगर्स भी हुआ करती थी और सिमिलरली वही राया गोपुरम के साथ क्या यहां प्रेजेंट है ठीक है और इनमें ज्यादातर किसका स्कल्पचर या पोर्ट्रेट हुआ करता था अबाउट द किंग एंड अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट पैटर्न को यहां एक आइकॉनिक आइकोनोग्राफ रिलेशनशिप एस्टेब्लिश होती है विद टेंपल एंड स्टेट ठीक है तो यू कैन दिस सब जो सब इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ये हैव यू हैव टू डू ऑफ दिस काइंड्स ऑफ वोकैबुलरी ठीक है नाउ अगर ये हो गया दिस ऑल अबाउट फीचर्स important features that you can learn from other book this was some important which can be asked you questions to ye mera aap karo chalo ye to aapko pehle se ab hum examples bhi jaanenge theek hai examples is very examples are very important bataiye kuch example you know before we move into examples let me discuss one important fact with you the fact is that the most of the temples most of the temples they used be they used to be present in sacred complex ha huh? magar hazara rama sami temple the huh? that was one of the temple that was present in royal center kaun sa temple hazara rama agar hum example le pehle iski example le ke hazara rama dekho theek hai hazara rama टेंपल ठीक है स्पेलिंग ऑफ ठीक इस टेंपल की ये खासियत थी कि ये कहा टेंपल दे यूज बी प्रेजेंट इन सैक्रेट कॉम्प्लेक्स बट वट अबाउट हजार आरामा सामी टेम्पल वेन वी नो वेन वी ट्राई टू डिस्कस वेन वी ट्राई टू लर्न अबाउट दिस हजार आरामा सामी टेम्पल वट वी लर्न इज one of the important facts that this was present in royal center can you please tell me why and if you cannot relate it this way to why was it present in royal center can you tell me that what could have been its function while being present in uh, royal center royal center was hmm? king king and aristocrats shabash means this was a temple used by king and his family theek aur aisa mujhe give me another example another example example would be uh, vithala temple ha huh? vithala why is known as vithala temple because main deity here was vithala but vithala was a deity in mahabharat Ah yes 
he is also revered in Karnataka. You forget to remember that we are studying about medieval India, where no borders between different states had been realized there. It was in only after State Reorganization Act, 1956, the boundaries were different states had been carved. And also Gujarat and Maharashtra were one, and they were, huh? You know that, you know this fact. Chief D.T. Kanthai, Maharashtra portion. Mother. Or, ye jo vithala tha, ye primarily isko Maharashtra mein kya karte the worship, or isko ye incarnation, isko kya sabja jata hai? Vishnu. Thik hai? A form of Vishnu. Now, other important Hampi temple, you know that already, you have examples mein dekha hoga, huh? You know that Hampi chariot temple, you, this, that's a very famous, huh? Current affairs may be how to scale up, but I'm taking you current affairs. We shall have a few chariot temples present in India, only a Hampi temple. Oga, to do so, Oga, Urisa, say, Uska, we have a Zikr Kia. Take it to up the Chizu could lead Karen Gay. What teen temples, Shire, if I'm not wrong, they are chariot temples. Huh? To walk with your father, you teen temples. No, no, full India. You can see. Okay? Which one? One of them. I have told you. The other one is Urisa. Maybe Jagannath Temple. Maybe not. I am not sure. So, Jagannath is a temple, right? It's a temple. So, yeah. So, that's also. Yeah. 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 So, the third one. Tell me 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 the third one. कितने चाहिए और टेंपल्स हैं, ठीक है? और वन इम्पोर्टेंट टेंपल इस वीरुपक्षा टेंपल। व्हाट इस स्पेशल अबाउट इस वीरुपक्षा? प्लीज कैन यू टेल मी? इट इस ब्रीव्ड टू बी बिल्ड, हाँ? इट वाज बिल्ड सेंचुरीज एगो, इट वाज ओनली एनलार्जेड during the times of Krishna Devaraya and this is built in the worship of Viru Paksha and Viru Paksha was a guardian deity who was a guardian deity and this is a recognized form of Shiva who was a Viru Paksha so it means now here is one thing we have said that this is Jamadar Shiva first then what happened to him? इन्होंने और फिर ये विष्णु वाइट्स पहले प्राइमरी शेवाल्स थे फिर ये किस में ट्रांसफॉर्म हो गए प्राइमरली विष्णु वाइट्स में गो अगर इस शेवाल्स ये अर्ली टेंपल होगा फिर पहले से होगा मगर इसको किसने बड़े पायमाना पे ये किया अलाज किया केडी राया और ये डेटी होने के साथ से गार्डियन फिगर गार्डियन टे� What is Provider style? The style of the temple architectural style of Vijayanagar Kingdom which encompasses all those features Provider style. Okay? Do you understand? Now, let's go to another part of this question and discuss it. Then we will move to sculpture and other art forms. Okay? Then I said, should I wrap it? मैं आइडिया दूंगा फ्रेम आप खुद करेंगे ठीक है आई गिव आइडिया मैंने बोला हार्मोनियस कंबिनेशन देखिए ये हार्मोनियस कंबिनेशन था होइसा राज का भी चालू की राज का भी चोल राज का भी और इस्लामिक आर्किटेक्चर पांडियाज का भी आप सर क्या और ये थे आप ये लिंक जरूरी नहीं ना आप हर किसी के साथ लिंक जोड़ना शुरू करेंगे अब हम थोड़ा ब्रॉड फीचर लेंगे चोला क्या टेंपल्स में ज्यादातर 
हार्ड ग्रेनाइट का यूज होता था इसका अगर हम चोला क्याज के चोला क्याज और बादाम के साथ लिंक वहां क्या लिंक है वोकल हार्ड ग्रेनाइट वाज यूज्ड इन टेंपल आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ विजयनगर किंगडम और सिमिलरली वो कहां यूज किया जाता था चोला क्याज और बादाम के लिए ठीक है ऐसे ही चोलास के साथ वो भी मैंने डिस्कस किया इट इज नॉट पॉइंट इस वक्त थे तो उनका जो इंडिजीनियस स्टाइल था ना तो इट्स नॉट कि वो जो पांडिया उस वक्त एग्जिस्ट करते थे उसका उन्होंने जो डेवलप किया था ना आर्किटेक्चर उनके साथ क्या मिलावट मिलती थी वे वो मेरा मतलब है चोलास के साथ क्या था चोलास के साथ हमारे देखा हमें तो पता है कि पांडिया का आर्किटेक्चर वो किसके साथ पहले मिल रहा वो हमने पढ़ा है ना ठीक है गोपुरम कल्याण मंडापाज ये किसके साथ मिलते थे क्योंकि हमने वहां भी देखे हैं कल्याण मंडापाज रेजर आर स्टाइल रेजर स्टाइल भी सारा हाई साल का था था ना रेज प्लेस फॉर्म था ना स्टार शेप रेजर प्लेटफॉर्म में इस्तेमाल होता था ये आपको खुद ये आपको बुक्स पे एक्सप्लिसिटली नहीं लिखी होगी कहीं पे भी नहीं लिखी होगी ये आपको खुद डेवलप करें अगर मैंने यहां देखा कि रेजर प्लेटफॉर्म है तो विसारा से कहा विसारा टेम्पल्स किस पे बनाए जाते हैं रेजर बना हुआ अगर मैंने यहाँ मंडापा का बड़े मंडापा का इस्तेमाल देखा कि तो बहुत मंडापा तो वो बहुत बड़े गोपुरा कहाँ बड़े पाए जाते थे चोलास के साथ वह मंडापास कहाँ बटे पाए जाते हैं चोलास के वक्त पिरामिडिकल स्ट्रक्चर किसके साथ मिलता है चोलास के साथ हाँ इट इज नॉट अबाउट वी टोल्ड कल्याण मंडापा वॉज अ स्पेशल फीचर ऑफ विजयनगर किला तो हम मंडापास के साथ लिंक कर रहे हैं चोलास को चोलास जैसे मंडापास थे वैसे इनके साथ अब उनमें से एक मंडापा था कल्याण मंडापा तो वो स्पेशल फीचर किन का है विजयनगर इट इज ड्राइंग लिंक नथिंग टू गो ठीक है इवन इफ इट वाज प्रेजेंट नॉट प्राइमरली ये किसी आर्किटेक्चर में एक थोड़ी बहुत एग्जांपल तो मिलती है मगर जब वो लार्ज स्केल पे मिलती है तो उसका यूनिकनेस बनता है उसका डिस्टिंगनेस बनता है उसके साथ तो प्रेजेंट तो अगर आप कहीं पे भी देखेंगे आप तो हर जगह लिंक करने बैठे हुए ना फिर छोटी छोटी चीजों से भी ठीक है पिलर्स कॉलम्स किसके बने वहां भी चोलास के साथ स्टूको के बने थे वुड वुडन पिलर्स बने थे उनके पास स्क्लपचर्स होते थे तो गोपराम के बाहर बॉडी गार्ड्स की फिगर्स होती थी दीज आर दम्पल विच कैन हेल्प यू टू डेवलप है लिंक वर्ड was it completely unique or there were elements already uh, there was uh, already indigenous jo dynasty se pehle present thi unke bhi elements isme maujood the to fusion ke examples hame milte hain now us fusion ko aapko aapko zyada expand karna hai aapko zyada consolidate karna hai jab aap dekho kya wo kaise aap consolidate karo jab aap कोई कल्चरल किताब तो देखेंगे जब आप रीडिंग करेंगे ना साथ साथ टेंपल आर्किटेक्चर की आपको खुद रिलेश करना आएगा कि देखो मैंने ये चीज वहां भी पाई थी यहां ये चीज यहां भी है ये तो विसारा में भी मेरा ये फीचर कहां से मिल रहा है ये तो मुझे विजयनगर में भी मिल रहा है अल्टीमेटली साउथ के किंगडम जो भी टेम्पल और ड्राइवडा के टेम्पल है ऑलमोस्ट ये सब फिर मिलते जुलते ही है आपको से एग्जाम्पल्स फिर प्रेजेंट करनी है उससे आपका आंसर क्रिस्प हो जाएगा ठीक है वो लिंक आपको एग्जामिनर को इवेलुएटर को पेश करनी है ये एग्जाम्पल्स है ये लिंक कीजिए ये मैं चोलास के साथ लिंक कर रहा हूँ ये मैं हौसलास के साथ लिंक कर रहा हूँ ये मैं चोला क्याज के साथ लिंक कर रहा हूँ उस ये मैं इस्लामिक आर्किटेक्चर के साथ लिंक पैदा कर रहा हूँ उससे उसको पता हो पता चलेगी पांच ही पॉइंट में देखो दस वाला क्वेश्चन दस वाला मार्क्स यहाँ आएगा पंद्रह मार्क्स वाला तो आ ही नहीं सकता मीन्स यू नीड फाइव क्रिस पॉइंट विद फाइन एग्जाम्पल उसमें से भी मैंने आपको पाँच छः लाइन करके दी पहले ही किससे 
انٹرو سے پھر ایگزامپل کی دو تین لائنز پھر وہ اور ہو گیا ڈیٹ پیج آپ کا ٹین مارکس والا ختم اور یہاں کوئی یہ ایسا خطرناک سوال ہے بہت سارے لوگ یہاں اٹمپٹ بھی نہیں کر رہا کوشش کریں گے بٹ آپ کے پاس میں نے بولا نا کہ صحیح گائیڈنس صحیح مینٹرشپ بہت امپورٹنٹ ہے آپ کی سمجھ تھوڑا آگے چلی جاتی ہے پڑھنا آپ ہی کو ہے مجھے نہیں پڑھنا ہے ٹھیک ہے پڑھائی آپ ہی کو کر. بس تھوڑی کہاں کس لیول تک جانا ہے کہاں سے واپس مجھے آپ کو کھینچنا ہے وہ میں آپ کو یہاں کر کے دے رہا ہوں ٹھیک ہے نا لیٹس ڈو ہر ڈسکس اباؤٹ وی ار ڈن وتھ ٹیمپل آرکیٹیکچر لیٹس ڈو ڈسکس اباؤٹ سکلپچر اینڈ ادر آرٹ فارمز دین پھر اور ایک تو میں نے بولا آپ کو کل کس کی ریڈنگ کرنے کے لیے ہاں چیری اور ٹیمپل اور ساتھ میں بولے گی کہ یہ بھی آپ پڑھیں گے وہ بھی آپ کو کوشچن آ سکتا ہے کہ کیا خالی ٹیمپلز یوز ہوتے تھے فار ورشپ نو تو آپ یاد رکھیے جو وجے نگر میں ٹیمپلز تھے دے ور ناٹ اونلی اے پلیس آف ورشپ رادر دے یوز ٹو کیری ادر فنکشن ایز ایل دے دیو دانا ولیج دے یوز ٹو بی ایکٹ دے یوز ٹو ایکٹ ایز لینڈ ہولڈر بیکاز دیو دانا ولیج وی ار آلریڈی اپرائزڈ آن دا فیکٹ اف دیو دانا ولیج یو نو دے ور ڈونیٹڈ ٹو and since they were donated to temple you need an you, you needed a machinery you needed of instrument uh, to uh, you know, for, for uh, you know for administrative purpose for administrating those villages ha huh? go ek to land holder ka kaam karte the dusra ye bank trade mein hissa lete the they used to participate in trade rather they used to give loans as well you have to understand these facts once you understand these facts these things become clear for your preliminary as well as for your main examination and third one most important thing what about the education what about the the you uh, are they participated even in trade please give me some five points what were the main functions of the temples of vijayanagar kingdom and that can help in your main examination as well as the preliminary examination ha huh? please give me those five points i'll be waiting for your answer uh, about those five points theek what were the functions of temples it has been the case with most of the temple temples in south india chola temples chola temples used to function uh, uh, not only uh, for a worship they used to function other way as well uh, similar was the case with another cholakya temple or beat other dynasty of uh, south india they used to have a various Huh? Uh, extends you and other functions as well apart from being the place of worship uh, try to relate uh, these uh, these kind of function with cholas then your expanse of knowledge horizons of knowledge ultimately develop into a uh, better answer uh, in your mains examination i'm sure you will do it try to build your knowledge accordingly okay now what about sculpture not going into detail we are we know that the structure sculpture was mainly associated with temples we have a well portrait of kings we have a well portrait of various mythical animals huh we have a portrait of mainly which animal if you you will be asked a question which was the main animal that was sculpted in temples it it, it was horse i believe theek huh coins pe زیادہ تر وراہا ٹھیک ہے تو مگر ہاں ٹھیک ہے مگر جو ٹیمپل آرکیٹیکچر میں زیادہ اینمل پایا جاتا تھا اسکلپچر کا وہ کون تھا یہ یاد رکھنا ٹھیک ہے وہاں پورٹریٹ آف کنگس بھی تھی وہاں ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف نیریٹو سینس بھی ڈسکس کیے گئے تھے مینس وی ہیو وائٹ ایگزامپل وی ہیو اباؤٹ دس اسکلپچر اینڈ ون thing you have to note one was a sculpture that was associated with temples remember it the sculpture the, that was associated with temples another set of sculptural examples we get with through their by their uniqueness means they were unique they were built somewhere else they were not completely associated with they were not completely associated with temples you know that we have an examples of nandi uh, form we have a sculpture of nandi we have an example of when we come to uh, this 
Uh, we have a huge monolith of Ganesha huh? at Hampi. We have a Hanuman, huh? Narasimha. Okay? We have a stone chariot as well. We have tanks and wells. They are also sculptured because they were carved very beautifully through a distinct sculptural pattern. You, this is, you can build upon this. Do I need to write it? No. Can we, uh, not stone chariot. Stone chariot, Gan uh, monoliths of Ganesha. Mm -hmm. Let me write them. No, monoliths of, there are, there will be some. <laughs> We can move this of Ganesha, Hanuman. Thanks. Now, let's go to other art forms, okay? We will be done with this. When I go to other art forms, are you taking from here? One thing. One will be music. Other would be dance. Third would be painting. Painting. Again, this was adjunct to adjunct to architecture. Architecture ke saath milti thi hume painting. ठीक है? We have a scene related to Ramayana, painted scenes of Ramayana. हाँ, तो इस तरह यहाँ ज़्यादा कुछ खास नहीं हुआ था कि नया पैटर्न डेवलप हो गया था. We have an examples of painting that were adjunct to architecture we have a different scenes of ramayana painted like scene of draupadi wedding kirat or junior okay these are some of the paintings which come to our mind you know, during the time of vijayanagar you know so was with music we know music and dance in uh, vijayanagar king during vijayanagar kingdom they were interpreted we had a presence of devdasis they used to uh, be uh, they used to dance in the service of uh, deity god तो वहाँ म्यूजिक भी हुआ करता था और वहाँ डांस भी हुआ करता था, ठीक है? In fact, we have a work on music. That's why I chose to write here. That was we had that Sangeeta Sarvodaya. ठीक है? Sangeeta Sarvodaya. ये किसने लिखी थी? Lakshmi Narain And do see course is he? Sangeeta Asa of Vidrayana Sangeeta Asa तो चूंकि इसके लिए एग्जांपल्स में मेंस में काम आ सकती है और सिमिलरली ये आपके लिए एक रेडी मेड टेलर मेड सवाल प्रिलिमिनरी के लिए हो सकता है तो आई हैव टू मेक रेफरेंस ऑफ देम अदरवाइज व्हाट वी आर मेनली व्हाट वी स्टडी मेनली इन विजयनगर किंगडम जो इज अबाउट टेंपल आर्किटेक्चर देयर सेक्युलर आर्किटेक्चर देयर लिटरेचर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट देयर लिटरेचर Huh? In a very extant manner already. We, know, we need not to discuss it again. That will be only wastage of time. I, we are done with culture. Tomorrow will most probably we will have a last lecture of Vijayanagar Kingdom that's about economy. Then we'll have a short discussion on Bahamani, especially about Muhammad Gawan and uh, Firo Shah Bahman. Huh? अगर फिर टाइम अलो हो किया तो देन वील हैव अ वील डिस्कस अबाउट योर 
एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव स्ट्रक्चर नॉट रिक्वायर फॉर जी एस स्टूडेंट्स तो इसलिए वो ज्यादा मैं डिस्कस नहीं करूँगा तो दिस वुड बी एड ऑफ आर विजयनगर किंगडम एंड विल बी लेफ्ट विद मुगल मुगल पीरियड ओनली आफ्टर दिस डेट विल कम्प्लीट आवर मेडिवल एंड मॉडल तो हमें पता है कि वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्राम जनवरी ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच अल्लाह हाफिज़